So, suicide. What is suicide? Potentially a, a very, very serious subject, uh, certainly if you're contemplating suicide. And, and make no mistake, I am aware of the fact that uh, at the time of recording this, that there will be some people that may seriously be contemplating suicide. So, uh, won't mix my words on this one. Uh, I speak from experience about suicide uh, because I nearly took my own life. Um, I think it would be about 18, 18 years ago now at the time of recording this message. And um, it, it was one I'd lost, lost a fortune. I'd lost my, my home, my job, my money, uh, my family through divorce. Uh, but you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the reason. Sometimes I meet people and they say, ah, yeah, you know, I found myself on rock bottom, but it, it wasn't as bad as you. It doesn't work like that. You can just wake up in the morning and seemingly on the outside have everything, the right partner, you can have money, job, you can look great, but life just doesn't seem worth living. So what's going on here? Why do so many young people take their own lives um, when on the outside from our position it might seem like they've got so much to live for. What, what, what's going on? Well, as, as I say, I've actually done some research in this area. Um, as you can see, I'm still here, so I didn't commit suicide, but jeepers, I know what it feels like when you, you just feel so desperate, so isolated, so cut off, so, so lonely from um, other people. I can feel the emotions. Um, coming up now and I guess the emotions are is that I know some people will be um, watching and listening to this video in the future that are desperate and where I once was and um, the emotion isn't for me it's for you whoever you are and we may not have met yet hopefully we will one day um, but there's an irony in, in loneliness and isolation and when you're lonely, it actually connects you with so many people in the world. Because in my experience, um, so many people feel lonely or have experienced loneliness in a big, big way. So the irony is, old loneliness is a liar. Because, because it, through our loneliness, we actually connect with so many people. But of course it doesn't feel like that. So let me tell you a story, other than my own story, where I... I nearly took my own life. Liz, my partner and the co-founder of BC, just just a couple of months from the time of recording this video, was in Stratford-upon-Avon in the UK here where we live. And, and of course that's the birthplace of Shakespeare. I guess the last place you would expect to see someone um, falling through the air and land just 10 feet in front of you, bang, dead, who'd committed suicide. Who, um, a guy who just didn't feel his life was worth living. So what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Um, if you've watched the other videos, and if you haven't, you need to about BC, everybody's got a script. Everybody's got a script. This script is what's handed down to us from our parents and our peers and our teachers. And of course, they got it from their parents, their peers and their teachers. And it's been passed down for thousands of years. To be clear on the script, the script is everything you don't want, don't like and wouldn't choose. There's no good stuff in the script. If there's good stuff in your life, then that's you, that's what you would choose. You would never choose any of this. And this is what can kill you. This is what nearly killed me 18 years ago. This is what said to me, hey Richard, you're no good. Ha! Knew it wouldn't last, knew the bubble would burst, knew they'd find you out, knew they'd catch up with you. This was the thing that said, you know what, if you really want to show how much you're hurting, take your own life. That'll show the other people, then they'll see how much you're hurt. Life's not worth living, etc, etc, etc. This, this nearly killed me. This is what got that man to throw himself off the roof on Stratford-upon-Avon that day, and it's killing our kids. That's why I feel passionate about this. But of course most people, they've never heard of Broadband Consciousness or BC, which is at the heart of everything we do at our programme. They don't know about the script. So of course this is inside them here. This is tucked up inside their, inside their jumper, inside their t-shirts. You see, here's the, here's the script here. This is where it is. This forms part of the identity, which is on another, another CD of our identity. 
Well, if you think you are the script, and this is the bit that's got all the, the negativity about you, all the hate about you, and of course the little voice you get in, the, in your head is the audio version of this, and you're just so sick and fed up of this voice in your head that's telling you you're not good enough, life's not worth living, and if you don't know about BC, then there's only one way to get rid of this, if it's up inside you and part of your identity, if you want to kill the script, you have to kill yourself. Everybody, anybody that commits suicide is really trying to get rid of this. And that's at the heart of the work that we do because we separate people from the script. We get them to see that yes, there's a script there. Yeah, and it's got that voice that goes on and it, it can tell us all sorts of rubbish, but it's not who you are. It's not your identity. And, you know, I actually said that one day that Broadband Consciousness, BC, is, is reincarnation without the need for death. And I guess it's the same. You don't, you don't need to get a new life. You don't, need to, you don't need to take your own life if you want to get rid of the script. And that's what it is. So check out the other videos. Suicide is an attempt to get rid of this. It's to separate from the script. And if we can show you a way, and we can, how to separate, how you're not that script, BC will change lives. And I know from people that have done the program, that have said to me, and it's more than one person, it's more than two people, it's a lot of people that have said, Richard, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for BC, because BC got me to realise that I'm not the script. Check out the other videos, especially if you're desperate, if you're feeling that you're on your own. No matter what this script tells you, and it will tell you, you are on your own. You are the only person in the world that feels like you do bullshit. That's just a script doing its job. And the script's job is to control us, is to frighten us, and often to terrify us. I've been there. There is life beyond the script. And I tell you what, it was just because I came through it, because I nearly took my own life, but I didn't, that I connect with so many people. So if you're in that space, and you get beyond it, you come back from that, you are going to be able to help so many people. Because so many people feel like you do, feel lonely, feel desperate, feel suicidal. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't need fixing. You haven't got your life wrong, it's just the script. And all scripts are the same. My script's the same. I've still got a script, but I know that script isn't me. I don't listen to it. Check out the other videos. We can help. Bye.